Well, finally! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to compare two cutting-edge AI technologies, DALI and MidJourney. DALI, developed by OpenAI, Open, Open AI. Well, hmm, that's, that description is questionable, but you get the point. MidJourney is extremely popular right now, but there are other AIs that do or try to do the same thing. One of them is DALI. And why DALI is interesting? First of all, it was created by OpenAI Lab, who created ChatGPT, who generates my intros with varying degrees of success. Second, DALI has API, and that means that developers can integrate DALI into their apps. So I feel like DALI can be a huge thing. And today we're going to compare this two. First, easy to use. Although it's not rocket science, just Discord, I still see that many people don't understand how to use MidJourney. All these chats and comments, they can scare you away. And many people quit before generating their first art. DALI, on the other side, is pretty simple. You have a text field, you have your collection. So no discord, no complicated comments, no noise from other people's requests. So in this case, I will give one point to Dell. Second, pricing. So Midjourney gives you 25 free images. This is the free trial. After that, that's it. You need to buy uh, a plan. Uh, there are three plans and I actually have a video on my channel where I explain all the plans, all the differences between the plans so that you can choose which plan is for you. Downside of this is that it's a bit complicated because there are three plans with different, different things inside and you need time to actually understand what kind of plan you need. DALI gives you 50 free credits and after that you get 15 free credits each month. Obviously it's not enough and you probably will need to buy more. So here is the price for the credits. 115 credits is $15. That means that it's around 13 cents per credit. Well, good thing is that there is no subscription. So you just pay for what you need. If you need, um, 100 images you just buy 115 credits and that's it if you need more you can buy more when you need it and how many you need but let's compare which one is uh, cheaper and wh which one is more expensive so let's say you need only 200 images per month that means ten dollars to meet journey because we're gonna buy the basic plan uh, in this case because the fast GPU time that you have with the basic plan is enough for around 200 images if you buy this for a year then you can pay just eight dollars per month so it is ten or eight dollars per month for mid journey or or twenty six dollars to Dali because because two hundred multiply by thirteen cents it's twenty six dollars and actually you can't buy two hundred you actually will buy two thirty that means that it will be thirty dollars per month it is pricey and in this case we can see that Dali is more expensive but it's just 200 images, right? What if you want unlimited number of images? In this case, you're gonna need standard or pro plan for mid journey, which will cost you from 30 to $60 per month. But with Delhi, it can be whatever, because you buy uh, credits, you buy for each image you generate. So it can be a hundred dollars, it can be a thousand <laughs> so there is there is no roof and of course in this case this point goes to midjourney prompting so delhi is very simple here you just put text uh, into the text field the input can be short it can be detailed uh, you basically just can write whatever you have in your mind uh, and whatever you want uh, delhi to generate
<laughs> that's that's pretty good monkey I like I like this one and it was simple so in addition with DALI what you can do you can select an image and edit it right here you also have variations button you have share save button so very user very user friendly I would say with the edit what you can do you can delete a part of the image that you don't like and for example this one and then just type what you want there for example i want flower and here is your flower <laughs> maybe it's not perfect but it's just a flower right so uh, with the edit button you also can uh, add generation frame what it means for example i want this image to be a bit bigger to this side so i click like this Voila! Now we have a window uh, next to the monkey. Pretty great, right? And it is simple. Very user-friendly. It's easy to understand. With Midjourney, it's a bit more complicated. So with Midjourney, we don't have just a text field. We need to use comments. And there are a comments list that you actually can use you need to use this you can just you know type whatever so if you want to generate an image you need to type imagine and then here goes your prompt so it's not very complicated but it's still more complicated with uh than it is with dali and also you can see that instead of you know user friendly buttons that says edit or variations or save we have this u1 v2 what what is this it's not that easy to understand you know oh and also midjourney does not have this edit tool which can be really useful so i think in this case we can give this point to dali okay and now let's compare quality of work we're gonna do something simple with both of them and something more complicated. Let's see. Uh, so a teddy bear holding a pink balloon, a digital art for nursery. So I'm gonna copy this. We're gonna generate it with Dali and we're gonna generate it here with my journey. Okay, and that's what we have with Dali. It's a uh, it's pretty cute teddy bear, I would say. We will need we will need to edit this image because if we want to see the balloon, and I think we want, this teddy bear doesn't have eyes, <laughs> which is not great. But I do like this one. Let's uh, edit the frame a bit more like this okay and now with midjourney we have this four images wow they look they look they look good they look good it created like a mock-up so we can see the room uh we can see some toys and you know it's a composition it's not just the image right but i really like this one this one and this one all three look very good. Okay, so I'm gonna upscale this. Oh, oh, not this one. This one. I'm gonna upscale the second one. Okay, so you can see that Dali did the job as well. Uh, now we can see the balloon. Let's see if we can try uh, accept. Yeah. <laughs> and now let's see if we can see the teddy bear. Like this. <laughs> okay, I would say it's not the best legs. <laughs> I don't really like the way it, the way it it is right now. Mm. Let's see what else we have. Ah, uh, no, no, my dear, that's not that that's not how it should look. <laughs> All right, and here is the image that we have with with, with Mid Journey. I think it is very good. It is pretty. We can use it 
for our nursery. It is really cute. Now let's try something complicated. Okay, so I typed a girl in a red cloak picking up mushrooms in forest. We want big explosion on the background, photorealism, dramatic colors. So we're gonna give a few minutes for mid-journey. Let's see what Dali will do. Okay, wow, Midjourney did it. Woohoohoo! Actually, it is pretty impressive. You can see it is good. I I don't see mushrooms though, because there were picking mushrooms. But um wow. Other all it is good. We can see the explosion, the colors are dramatic. For the realism, not really, but nah, it is good. Red cloak is here, and I think because she's picking up mushrooms, she <laughs> she has a backpack. Although I I'm not sure if people do that, but that's okay. Let's see, let's see what we have with Dali. Wow, that's completely different. Um, we can see mushrooms though. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms are big and that, that, that's a big mushroom that's a big mushroom I don't see I don't see explosion though where is explosion I think it Dali thinks that explosion is, is this kind of you know race uh, okay so here's the thing mid journey forgot the mushrooms Dali forgot explosion <laughs> they both have dramatic colors i would say Dali did it in a more fairy tale way midjourney did it in a more serious way i would say uh which one we like more i don't know let me know in the comments i'm gonna upscale number one i think and we're gonna see it in a more detailed view mm. You know what? For this one, um, I will add bomb explosion. Maybe, maybe it will understand me better. Okay, yes, now it's better. That's interesting though. It's like a mushroom with explosion. Interesting. This is explosion with mushrooms with fire camp. Okay, but I think the closest to my prompt is this one. First, I'm going to take a look at the variations. Just because why not? This one looks pretty good. That is, it's really good. We're going to make variations just to, you know, take a look at how it works. Okay, so these are variations from Delhi. Uh, hmm, no, I still think the original is the best version of it, uh, but it's not that I love it. It's okay. Let's take a look at the variations that Majorni did. So you can see basically it's the same image. I don't really see any big variations of it. Maybe just a hat. And it's a big, big backpack. I don't know why it likes the backpack that much, but that's okay. So now when we're looking at this, both at these images, I would say that Midjourney did a better job, but it's not 100% guaranteed that your prompt will look better with Midjourney than in Delhi because, you know, it's AI everything is different we probably need like 10 20 prompts uh, to do a fair competition here but we don't have that time so i will give this point to midjourney okay so now we have two by two hmm i think we need to find something else but i really don't know what <laughs> so if you know let me know in the comments and we will finish this competition or let me know in the comments what pros and cons you know about Midjourney and Delhi that can be a huge argument here in this competition. And remember, AIs are learning every second. With every prompt, with every user, every job that you or others make them to do, they are learning. So 
in one year, in five years. Who knows how they will work and how they will look. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you soon.